President Uhuru Kenyatta ordered all schools to close for March 15th, two days after the government announced Kenya's first COVID-19 cases in March 13th in the country, making it approximately eight two days of no school. The Ministry of Education proposed changes to the school calendar to recover time loss to the coronavirus pandemic, even as insisted that national examination will be conducted as scheduled by schools are yet to reopen as infections continue to surge. You have seen that this pandemic is still spiking. You have also seen all over the world that nobody has opened any school when the pandemic is still spiking. But you have also seen in places like South Korea or Israel where everything was done correctly and people rushed to open and they have closed that all you need to do is to do your yes. Isn't that right? President Uhuru Kenyatta stated on Saturday the following stakeholders' consultation on the education sector, jointly with Ministry of Education and Health, they are to issue and publicize guidelines on gradual return to normalcy in the education sector by 1st September 2020, with the Ministry of Education expected to announce the new school calendar by mid-August. That following stakeholders' consultations in the education sector, the Ministry of Education, jointly with the Ministry of Health, issue and publicize guidelines on a gradual and progressive return to normalcy in the education sector by the third term, that is, from the 1st of September 2020. Further, that the Ministry of Education shall announce the new school calendar by the middle of August. Kenya National Examination Council. The head of state assured Kenyans that he shall do all that is necessary to limit the negative effects of COVID-19 on Kenya's economy and ways of life. Stephanie Sumba, Switch TV.